Okay, hello again. So we will continue unit 10 and inshallah we will start uh, the second lesson of today. So previously, briefly, uh, previously we talked about rules and warnings. Okay, so we said that rules are a set of instructions that tell you to follow uh, them and to prevent uh, um, committing them in order to sustain order. Warnings are things that you say to warn others about a certain danger or certain outcome. Okay, for today's lesson, it will be about safety hazards. Safety hazards. This is page 76. Safety hazards. So the word comes from the noun safe. Safe means being protected. Taking a measurement to become protected. And in order to prevent any harm. Hazards means dangers. Dangers. For example, if you drive without uh, fasting the seat belt, you, you might get an injury. You might sustain an injury. So this is what a hazard. But in the safety instruction, in this case, you need to wear or fasten your seat belt. So this is a safety measurement. Purpose is to prevent the hazards with the danger of being injured. Okay, look at number one. Number one says listen and match match the warnings with the pictures what are the warnings the warnings at number two okay but before that uh, let's see uh, the answer for number one so we have from uh, a up to f okay we'll hear a warning uh, you need to put the number in it. Or basically, you can go through number two. Let's go through number two. Uh, two. Number two, you already have had the result uh, of uh, not following the warning. For example, look at A. If you didn't follow the warning, if you didn't, for example, uh, clear your way for walking. What would happen? Would you burn your hand, or you could injure your head, or you might fall into the gap? Okay, you need to put the letter in the front of the appropriate warning. Okay, for number two, as you can see, there is a warning here a caution, caution sign means water is hot what did happen this person did not follow the instruction but it happened basically did he burn his hands or injure uh, his head okay number uh, c also or letter c as well as d this is the beam if he walks straight into the beam what would happen to his head you need to write the letter here Okay, let's start. Unit 10, recording 54. One. Look out, there's a low beam in front of you. Two. Be careful, there are some bricks on the floor. Three. Watch out, there's no guard on the gears. Four. Mind the gap. 
There's a gap between the train and the platform. Five. Careful! There are bare electrical wires on the wall. Six. Look out! The water is very hot. Okay. I, I think uh, uh, it's clear that we have two exercises here. I get confused. Number one, we needed to write the number in the front of each picture. So he's describing a warning. Okay, but which warning he's describing? We have number one. He said, for example, you might fall. So here we need to put number one. Unit 10, recording 54. Okay. okay, try to listen again and focus on ordering the pictures based on the warning you hear. Let's see an example for number one. Unit 10, unit 10, recording 54. One. Look out. There's a low beam in front of you. Okay. So, number one, he talked about the beam. So, he already uh, has given a warning that there is a beam. And this person needs to be washed out. So, this is number one. Okay. Let's see number two. Two. Be careful. There are some bricks on the floor. What do we mean by bricks? Which one in the picture has the word? Uh, uh, you can see uh, uh, a brick in the picture. Can you see a brick or bricks? Can you see? Can you think, see them? Okay. So number two. A. Hey, these are bricks. Okay. These are bricks. The listener said that there are some bricks on the floor. Okay, let's see number three. Three. Watch out. There's no guard on the gears. Which one uh, uh, that has a gear? Which one in the picture has a gear? C. They are called gears. They are called gears. So C will be number three. But what would happen if the person put his hands inside or the gears has grabbed his hand? What would happen? His hand uh, might uh, get stuck and he, this person won't be able to lift it or even he might end it up with losing his hand. So following safety instructions are very important in order to be become uh, safe and prevent any harm to your body or to, to the others. Okay, let's see number four. Four. Mind the gap. There's a gap between the train and the platform. The gap is at letter F. This is the gap. Okay, this is a gap. You can see. So this is four. Five. Careful. There are bare electrical wires on the wall. So uh, the electrical wires is, as you can see, is in E. So this is Number five, this is electrical wires. What would happen to him? He's more likely gonna get an electrical shock. Okay, electrical shock. Because uh, as you can see in the picture, the wires are active and contain a current. Yeah. Six. Finally. Look out, the water is very hot. So finally, six, the listener has warned uh, this person that the water uh, in the sink is very hot. What would he need to do? Basically, need to wear some heat-resistant 
gloves before uh, turning uh, the sink before obtaining a water. Okay, number two. You already had the result, okay? Uh, but we need to match the letters with each result. What do, we, what do we mean by result? For example, let's see, uh, let's, let's look at number P, or letter P. Okay, this is a hot water. What would happen if he didn't follow the instruction? Can you describe the picture? Yeah. Basically, he burns his hand. He burns, this is the uh, verb burn. You can see burn. Okay, so basically, the first one will uh, be, uh, will have the letter B. Okay. And basically, you can start with the numbers or with the letters. Both of them are correct. The Brago, I will start with the letters. Okay. Okay, let's see, at number one, uh, the first one is, as you can see, uh, if you already know the meaning of this shape. Okay, this is uh, a beam. And what, what, what would happen as an injury if he didn't follow the instruction? He will basically gonna hurt his head. Okay, for number two. Okay, number two. What would happen to him? Number two. Okay, can you see bricks? Okay. You could trip over. Trip over. This is the meaning of trip over. Look what happened to him. Or what would happen to him. Okay, or three. These are gears. So this is the answer. You might trap. What do you mean by trap? Trap, you're stuck in a position, either you or your members or hands, for instance, and you will not be able to move it. So this is a trap. For example, you had a kid, which he went to a room and uh, had locked on himself. Then he is trapped in this room. He won't be able to move out without the interference of the authorities to rescue, uh, to risk, to risk him, to rescue him. <laughs> okay, for number four, can we describe what would happen? So we have leg, we have gap. Okay, let's look, look uh, the word gap. Ah, can you see? This is the gap. Okay, a gap. So this is number four. For number five, okay, as we said before, if the person touches this wires, he would get electrical shock. So the answer here, electrical shock. That's one. Why? Finally, Okay, this is what? This is a hand. So what would happen to the hand? He would burn them. He would what? Burn them. So this is six. Okay. Basically, and number three, at the beginning, uh, you need to warn people, okay, about the danger of something. And then, in addition to that, you can say the outcome if the person did not follow the instruction. For example, I would say to you, watch out, you need to bring the book, 
But what would happen if you did not bring the book with you? You might get out. You might, for example, fail the course. Another meaning or another example. Watch out. You need to wash your hands. What would happen if I did if I didn't wash them? You might or I might get an infection like the like coronavirus. Okay, at number four, the question says how many? So we have a number. How many safety hazards? As we said before, safety has to do with being protected from dangers or precautions or things to do to prevent getting an injury or getting harm to you or to others. So this is safety. And hazards, as we said before, means dangers. So as you can see, this is a workshop. There are some dangers here that if you didn't uh, watch out, you would basically end up with getting an injury. So safety hazard, khbar salama. Okay, khbar salama. For example, at the table, we have some food on the table. Okay. Look at uh, uh, the wall. There is no fire fire extinguisher extinguisher. There is no fire extinguisher. Okay. Look at the fire exit. Can you see? It is locked. Fire exit. What would happen if there was an, uh, a fire here? You cannot go through this door because it is closed. Another thing, we have some water here. Or some liquid. If a worker walks on it, he might slip down or fall down. Also, we have some bricks in the, in the, front, in the front of the ladder. Bricks in the front of the ladder. And there are some tools on the ground. And the worker would drop and would injure himself. So, all of these are safety hazards, okay, in the workshop. I need to be clean immediately before anyone would uh, get hurt. Okay, look at five. This is safety inspector, safety inspector. You work in a company, and if you work in a workshop, you are more likely going to uh, see a safety inspector checking about the safety hazards in the workplace. To check workplace uh, would follow the safety instruction precisely. Okay, safety inspector basically means mufattish. What? Mufattish salama, mufattish abla. What's the purpose of the safety inspector, as we said before? To check for and prevent or remove any safety hazards that would affect the workers inside the workshop or inside the company. Okay, how can I uh, write a report? Basically, you need to divide the sentence into these sections, as you can see. We have three sections here uh, and an object. So we have one, two, three four sections okay the first section we have there is or there's or there are there is is basically there's this is the abbreviation of there is i use there is for a singular thing or what singular thing or uh like like countable accountable okay accountable And I would use there is with the uncountable nouns, like water. Water, I can't count them. At the beginning of the sentence, I would use there is. Okay, there is. There are 
are used with countable nouns. Anything that ends with S, as you can see here, you would use there are. Not there is, there are. Okay? So there is with a singular, the countable, if it was a singular, and the uncountable. I would use there is. Okay? The countable, the plural countable that ends with S, I would use there are. For example, there is some liquid on the floor. Liquid is uncountable. So let's use there is. There are some bricks. Bricks end with S, so this is plural countable. So at the beginning, I use R. So this is the first section. The second section, you need to put in the front of the word, of the noun, SM. You need to put one of these, either a or some, okay, a or some, or no, if you want to talk about a negative, la. But we need to identify the difference between a and some. Okay, basically, we would use a if the word was countable and singular. Madud, mufrad. I would use what there is a. There is a. For example, tools. Instead of tools, I would say there is a tool. There is a tool. There is a fire exit. Al-Madud, mufrad. There is a fire exit. Okay, the second thing you would use is some. Some. When would I use uh, some? Look at the word. Okay, look at the word. You need to see if the word is countable. Uh, it's uncountable. I would use some before it. If the word ends with S, I would use some. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see an example here. Number one, there is some. Why did you use some? Because liquid is uncountable. I can't count liquid. What do you mean liquid? Liquid like water, milk. They are uncountable. So I use there is at the beginning, then some, then liquid. Okay, look at number two. There are some bricks. Why it did, it did put R here? Okay, I'm talking about accountable nouns here. Bricks. Bricks, so I use some. Okay, three. There are some boxes. There are some boxes. Okay, why use uh, some? Because we have S countable and lower. So I use there are some boxes on the stairs. Okay, as we said before, so we talked about there is at the beginning, and then you need to put either a or some. And after that, you need to put the noun, whether it is singular and countable, or uh, countable, okay, or uh, countable uh, and blur. The last thing is the location. Where is it? This is the location, starting with a preposition, harf jar, mawqa'. Okay, the location of the hazard. Okay, look at the floor. You are a safety inspector. You saw a safety hazard here. Okay, you would start with there. This is what? Liquid. Liquid means, uh, as you can see in the picture, like water. This is water. So, but I don't know what kind of liquid. Is it water, milk? So this is the general word, liquid, side. Okay, we'd say there is. Okay, but you can't say there is a liquid. So this is why, because this is uncountable. We'd say there is some liquid. So that's where, where the location. 
on the floor موقع اخر شيء on the floor okay let's see number four there is some food 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 in english is uncountable so i use some where on the benches on so we have n p on ala around how okay these are the preposition five there's some drink there is some drink drink is uncountable okay where on the benches okay okay uh, Six. There are some tools. Why I use some here and use R? Because tools. Okay. Countable and door. Jam Madud. Stachdem some R. Seven. There are no fire fire extinguishers. I'm stachdem no. The use of no if there is no. There is negative. Ida mafi. Okay, there are no fire, fire extinguishers, as you can see in the picture. Okay, can you see the fire extinguisher is removed? So it use there is no fire extinguisher. Okay, there is a fire exit are no cones okay this is the negative look at number one i want to put a negative let's say that there are no liquid i feel liquid but yeah say there is instead of some i would use no there is no liquid so no use it with a or some replace a and some okay there are no there are no there is no there are no Okay, there is no. Uh, excellent. Uh, let's see, number 10. There are no girls on the machines. Okay, and finally, this is the passive. We talked about before the passive. If the sentence that, uh, does not contain a subject, my fan. I don't know who is responsible on this verb or who is responsible on this action. Okay, for example, the fire exit is broken. I don't know who did this action. We started with the object. Okay, so basically, we use the object at the beginning and then is with the singular and are with the plural. And then the verb and its past participle form. The slip of that is a cable is damaged. Cable to who did that? I don't know. Man. Can I change it into an active sentence? Yeah. Would say there is a damage in the cable. Or Ahmed has damaged the cable. Okay. Two windows. Okay. Can you see the X? This is plural. Two windows are broken. The fire exit. Okay, there is no S here, so I use is locked. Some cables are coiled. Okay, some cables are coiled. Okay, this uh, grammatical rule we are talking about the past symbol using the past symbol of is and are. Okay, what do you mean by that? For example, I am Ahmed. Let's say that I changed my, na my name. I get this name. So Ahmed was in the past. How, how can I change I am Ahmed into the past? Simply, uh, the, you need to change uh, the word is into its past symbol. Or the word am. So its past symbol is 
was. So if you use I in the beginning, it would say was. I was Ahmed. Kunt Ahmed. I am here. Ana hona. I was here. Kunt hena. Okay. With the law, the jamr stakhdem were are. I think what it's called. They are students. I'm tulab. Okay. In the bus. How can I say that? How can I change R into the bus? Use where. Okay. Use where the students were. Uh, they were students. Can Allah. Okay. Was is used instead of is in the past, and where is used instead of R. Look at this one. The fire exit was locked. The fire exit was locked. This is the past. Okay. Can Allah. Some cables were. Some cable. Cables were coiled. Okay. If I want to change them into the past, basically, I will have a There is, I would say, there was. There were. There were. There was. There was. There were. There were. Okay. There were. Now there is. There were. Where. Okay, was, where, was, where. Okay, you just simply need to memorize that you want to use the bus symbol of is, you would use was. And the bus symbol of am also was. For example, I am Ahmed and Ahmed. I was Ahmed. Can Ahmed. Can is Muhammad, for example. Okay, this exercise is for seven. We already talked about it. We already um, highlighted the safety hazards and that workshop. And you can see in seven, this is an example of a report that is written by safety inspection, safety inspector. It will start with the title safety inspection report and then the visit, ZR aware. You need to put here the location of the workshop or or its name, Isma. And finally, you need to put the date. When did you write this report? As you can see, he wrote it in the future, but the visit was in the past. So he talked about the past. So instead of saying there are fire extinguishers and where in the workshop, he said uh, there were. Instead of saying there is, it change is into into its past form and replace it with what. Okay. So here are some examples that we saw in the workshop. There are uh, there was some liquid where on the floor. There were some bricks on the floor, but there weren't any cones around them. There were some boxes on the stairs. There was some food and drink on the benches. Or the table, okay. Bench basically means table. There were uh, there were some tools on the floor. There were no uh, girls on the machine. A cable was damaged, and some of the cables were fine. The windows were broken. Okay, so we finished the, this lesson, but before closing the lesson, we need to go. Through through it again quickly. So we talked about safety hazards. We said that safety are precautions you do in order to prevent uh, prevent uh, you from sustaining an injury or hurting yourself or others. Others are the dangers. Okay. As you can see in the picture, there are some safety hazards in the picture and persons. Uh, that are uh, they were shown in the pictures did not follow precisely with the safety instructions as a result they might ended getting uh, uh, an injury 
like burning or falling or tri even tripping down or even getting an electric shock. Unit 10. Okay. And we talked about how to identify and uh, write a report uh, about any safety hazards you can see in the workshop. And basically, you need to put at the beginning there is, or there is an abbreviation of, abbreviation of SAR, and there are. There is comes with what? If the noun was singular, and you I use a ah with it only if uh, the noun was singular and countable. It can be good. Mufrat stafnima a. When there is a, they can uh, uh, uncountable, where my good stuff if there is some. Okay, the other section or the other uh, uh, methods if the nouns were lower, they can jump. You, there are, there are some bricks, there are some bricks, my jump, there are some bricks. If workshop does not have something, and no instead of out some, but then out some, and them no. There is no, or there are no. Okay. In the past, you need to replace is with was and are with were. And there is another method to use the passive form. Passive form, you would start with the object at the beginning and then the verb is comes with uh, singular and R comes if the object was lower. And then you would write the verb in its past participle form. As we said before, this is an example of a report that is written by a safety inspection, safety inspector. I can see he wrote it in the future and the, the visit was in the past, so he started writing the report in the past. So you can see number one, two, he used the past form of AR and S. Instead of saying there are, he said there were. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the lesson of today. Um, I know it somehow have uh, some difficulty and requires some uh, practice but inshallah i will go through this uh, lesson and you will Im improve by the end of this semester inshallah you can see the difficulty of the lessons uh, are increasing lesson by lesson so you need to pr prepare very well before uh, continuing to another lesson Okay, thank you for your listening, and as, as usual, if you have any questions, I am available 24 hours, inshallah, um, via the still telegram or the email. Okay, okay, looking forward uh, to see you later, inshallah. Thanks, and goodbye.